Hi everyone, welcome back to Geek's Bathhouse. This week, as promised, we're going to be doing some cold process soap. We're going to make some Thor cupcake soaps for the new movie Thor Ragnarok coming out on Friday. I'm super excited about that. And I'm also really excited that we're getting into some cold process because this is one of my favorites. So what I'm going to be doing is I have my oils here. Basically when you're making cold process soap, it's lye, water, oils, mix it all together. You get saponification happening and that makes soap. So I have my hard oils separated from my liquid oils here because I'm going to be doing what's known as the heat transfer method which means I'm going to add my lye to my water. It's going to heat up and get really hot. I'm going to use that hot solution and pour it over my hard oils to melt them down and then I'll add in my liquid oils. I've got my colorants all set up. I've got these awesome embeds that we made. Thor hammers. Very cool. So I am going to put on my safety glasses. Lye safety is extremely important when working with cold process soap. If you ever decide to get into it, make sure you do your research. And um, I'm going to get started. I will mix up, measure out my lye and bring you back when I'm ready to mix everything. Okay, so I wanted to show you this part. A lot of soap making videos kind of leave this part out but I just wanted to show you in case you're not familiar the actual lie part. Um, lie is not scary but you do have to be careful with it. You always add lie to water never the other way around. You can get an explosion if you do that blow up real bad. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to add my lie to my water. The chemical reaction is going to start. It's going to heat up a lot. That's why I'm using stainless steel. And it does get very fumy, so you want to make sure you do this in a well-ventilated area. So here we go. Keep in mind, I am just giving you tips and tricks. This is by no means a complete how-to. Be sure that you do your research before you ever decide to get into this yourself. I did a lot of research before I started cold process soap. So I'm going to mix this. Just until it dissolves, I'm going to stand back a little bit because it is going to get kind of fumy. And it's going to heat up quite a bit. And once I have this thoroughly combined where all the lye is dissolved, then I will pour it over my hard oils and it will melt them. So to my lye solution here, I have added some sodium lactate which helps to harden your soap. I like it. It helps get your soap out of the silicone molds. Some people also say it helps a bit with lather, I have read. Um, and I've also added some Tessa silk. My silk that I use, I get from a place that supplies cruelty-free silk. So it comes from a place that collects the cocoons after the moths are totally done with them and moved on. So no harm to the moths. That's important to me. So now we're going to pour this hot, hot fly solution right over our hard oils and stir and stir and stir until they melt. And this could take a few minutes to get them completely melted. In my liquid oils over here, I also have some additives. I've added some goat milk powder some kaolin clay, some colloidal oatmeal, and all that just gives extra goodness, extra properties to your soap. You can do some reading. There's tons of different additives you can use in cold process soap making. I'm still kind of playing around with different recipes and different additives and seeing what I like best. So I'm going to get this mixed down to where it's mo most of the chunks are gone and then I'll hit it with my stick blender get all the rest of the chunks out and then we'll add in our liquid oils. Now I'm going to mix my liquid oils just a touch to mix in all those additives. I'm not going to stick blend anymore right now because I've got to stick blend in some colors and my fragrance 
here in a little bit. Actually, I might go ahead and just add my fragrance to the whole batch now. I think we'll be okay. I don't think this fragrance speeds up anything. Ooh, look at that yellow. I am using a fragrance called Bay Rum today. It's a nice sort of, I'm trying to think how to explain it, sort of a spicy manly scent. I thought it was appropriate for Thor. So my plan for these cupcakes is to make the bottom of the cupcake black. Then we're going to do some piping on top in the sort of retro colors I have here, the blue, pink, and gray that they've been using for the logo. We're going to do some piping on top and then throw our hammers in there. So let me get a couple of other containers here. We're going to need one for black, one for silver, one for blue, and one for pink. All right. So we're going to need the most of the black and just a little bit of each of the pink, blue, and silver. And it would probably be wise of me to actually kind of measure this out, but I'm going to eyeball it. I'm going to wing it. I think that's probably good. So let's do our black first. I'm going to be using activated charcoal today for the black. As usual, I'll leave links in the description box below of all the colors that I'm using and where I got them. So I'm going to hit this with the stick blender a little bit and then we'll pour it off into the cupcakes. Okay, so I'm going to lay out my cupcake liners here on this tray. And since I didn't measure exactly, we're kind of winging it. We'll see how many we can fill and where we're at. I'm going to fill all these up. So we're going to set these aside and get to work on our piping. So let me just check on these, see how we're coming along. We're still really, really thin here with these colors. So it, I may have to put you guys on hold and give these time to set up. But I will kind of talk you through what I'm going to do. So these are going to set up and get thick, kind of like um, a frosting. Then what we're going to do we're going to take some plastic wrap. This is sort of a cake decorating trick that I really like. What we're going to do is we're going to line each color up in here, wrap it up, drop that down into our piping bag, and then pipe our cupcakes. So I'm going to give this piping time to set up. While I do that, I'm going to clean up a little bit, and I will bring you back when we're ready to pipe. So while we're waiting for our piping to harden up, I just wanted to take a minute and show you guys the mold that I used to make the hammers. I got this mold on Amazon. It is actually an ice cube mold. There are tons of cool ice cube molds out there that you can use for soap making. Here we go. Try to give you a close up view of the hammers. They're not perfect, but they're pretty awesome, I think. All right, after quite a bit of a wait, maybe 20 minutes or so, I think we are at a good enough consistency to go ahead and try to get this piping done. Because I'm impatient and I wanna get this show on the road. So we're gonna give it a try. So what we're gonna do, like I was kind of explaining, this is a, a cool tip from the, the cake decorating world. We're gonna lay out our piping onto some plastic wrap in rows like this because we're going for kind of a rainbow effect when we pipe it out so we're just gonna do three rows one of each color and i probably have more piping than i need because i don't want to pipe these cupcakes really tall 
I actually want to keep them relatively flat and then we're going to prop our hammers in them. So tip, always have spare molds ready hanging out on the sidelines to fill up with your extra soap. Yeah, see how that's kind of spreading out? Still not super thick, but we're gonna go with it. Cut the tip off, slide it down into our piping bag. I am using a, let's see, Wilton 4B, kind of a star tip there, open star tip. I'm gonna start by just doing a little bit of piping down in here to kind of get everything flowing. There we go. Yeah, see, we're still pretty, pretty loose, actually. I think I'm going to leave that, let it sit for a little while longer because I don't want to, don't want to pipe too early and not get our design. So we're actually going to hold off. We'll be back. Okay. After waiting and waiting and waiting, I think we're finally ready to go. Let me actually get you guys zoomed in a little bit better. There we go. Get you where you can see what we're doing here. So I'm just going to do kind of a spiral all the way around each soap. Oh, those colors came out so cute. Now to add our hammers. So I'm thinking I'm try to do this facing toward you guys. I'm thinking I want to just kind of go in kind of like that. Let's see how that looks. Oh yeah. So cute. And there we have them. Our Thor cupcake soaps. I love the way they turned out. They'll have to sit overnight and harden up and then tomorrow I'll be able to take off the silicone wrappers and we'll be able to see the whole thing and how they turned out. So I will um, try to record that for you as well, the unmolding and everything, uh, but I will get you in for a close shot on these today as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying the channel. If you are, please give a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe and definitely share with your friends. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. we're back and it's been 24 hours so we are ready to go ahead and unmold our Thor cupcake soaps I unmolded a couple just to make sure that they were ready As you can see they came out really cute so let's just go ahead and get the rest out of their silicone molds I'm just gonna peel that back and kind of press gently upward to get that soap out of the mold this is where having sodium lactate in your recipe is really nice. It helps um, harden up your soaps so that they come out of the molds nice and easy. I am so pleased with how these came out. They're really cute. I hope you guys like them and have enjoyed watching the video. If you have enjoyed it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, 
subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, hit that notification bell so that you will not miss out on any of our new content, and enjoy going to see Thor Ragnarok this weekend. Thanks guys, have a good one, bye bye.